Okay, so we are using our unboxing screwdriver um, because we are smart enough to start uh, recording an unboxing video, including that B-roll footage at the beginning, um, but forgot to actually bring a knife. So that just shows you how good we are at our jobs. And uh, yeah, so here we have the Logitech G240 mouse pad. Um, only reason I really wanted to buy a new mouse pad was because my old one, besides being really big, it's getting pretty grimy and I'm sick of washing it. And this one apparently works better with G703, which is the mouse that we got. So here we are. In the box we have just the very nice mouse pad. I'll spin it towards you. Got the Logitech logo on it. And then the back is blue, just straight rubber. What do you think, babe? How does it feel? Feels pretty good, but I realize how red my hands are. Yes, your hands are disgusting. Get them out, you're gonna lose me views. And in the package, we have an Espanol Portuguese English guide. Um, read manual before use. This is not a children's product and not intended for use for children under 14 years old. It's a <laughs> mouse pad. Why, why do you have to read a manual? Do not disassemble or attempt to service this product. This product is safe for use under normal operating conditions. If the product is operating improperly, call Logitech support. <laughs> Hi, uh, Logitech support. Hi, uh, my mouse pad is um, not operating correctly. It's uh, not being a flat pad. It's uh, attacking my dog. I, I, don't, I don't know how that would work. And then if you need service or repair, please return it to Logitech. Well, nobody really cares about that. So basically if this mouse pad uh, attacks Cairo or Hobo, we can return it to Logitech. Um, otherwise, make sure nobody under the age of 14 uses this mouse pad, specifically says in the instruction manual. So that's the 240. Boom. Next up, this one I'm very excited for, guys. Now, I'll let you know that there is a little bit of plastic missing on the inside because I had the very, very nice people at Best Buy open it up for me uh, so that they would make sure that it worked and everything. But here we are, the Logitech G703. As you can see, we have the mouse here. We have the recharge cable. And we have the dongle with the extendo dongle built right in look at that oh yeah oh. <sighs> anyways this mouse here guys g703 completely wireless and features logitech's um light speed technology which basically allows it to wirelessly charge as well if you have a wireless charger and they actually make a mouse pad with the wireless charger built in so you can have an unlimited battery wireless mouse um, I'll actually move the mouse pad out of the way so you can see it a little better. Um, I bought it because it has a really nice shape for palm grip, which is what I use. Uh, and I got really, really big ass hands, so I needed a big ass mouse. Um, it's pretty heavy. I put the weight into it, uh, on off, you know, normal. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Uh, apparently, I mean, obviously this will be able to be adjusted in the software, but I really like the color of it. I'm probably gonna have it be white for a while first. Nice scroll wheel. But nothing too fancy guys i don't need anything fancy i just need a good shape because i don't really use macro keys or anything so that was all i really needed and uh yeah we're gonna turn that off to save some battery but absolutely fantastic mouse cannot wait to try it out and maybe i'll do a follow-up video on how good it is but it's just right for my size got a nice little groove in the side there rubberized side uh the death router i've been using actually has a slope there and it's plastic and my my finger that i used to pick the mouse up with uh drops it sometimes so this is actually really really nice feeling i like it and it has a nice bump at the back too so my, uh, my ginormous hand here will actually uh, sit in it properly. Um, we got the recharge cable, but I mean, nobody really cares about that. The recharge cable here, the dongle for charging it, the wireless adapter, everything like that all set. So that's the mouse. Very, very excited to try that out. Can't wait. I've never used a wireless mouse before, so that's going to be brand new. But uh, now on to the big boy, the G513 Carbon. I got the Romer G Tac. Tactical? Tac tactile. Tactile uh, attachments. Normally, I would have wanted the linear. It was what I was going to order off of Amazon. Um, but they, this is the only one they had in the store. But after trying it, I realized that it's still not very loud. The main reason I didn't want the tactile one is because they can be a little bit noisy. I have blue switches right now, which I'm sure you guys all hear. Uh, but even with the tactile one, uh, it wasn't too noisy. I asked the guy about it and he was very, very good. So we're going to pull this out here. So we have inside this box, we have oh, another box. But inside this black box, we have wah, the keyboard, ladies and gentlemen, the Logitech G513 mechanical keyboard. Now, the 
keyboard is very, very nice. We can't show the lights off right now, but I will show it when I do some B-roll later. But basically that's it guys. You won't have to hear my insane clicking anymore uh, when I am making videos. It's very, very nice though. It feels really, really good. The keyboard's heavy as hell though. Solid block aluminum, babe. Try lifting up that keyboard. Like it feels nice, but like lift it. Oh, that is. It's heavy. actually heavy as hell. Like, carrying the box was actually heavy. And uh, just for you guys, Dungeoneers, I'm gonna give you the satisfaction. Uh, we'll, you know what? We'll even do it from the far side for you, just so I know you guys can see it. There you go. Nice fresh Logitech logo just for you guys. Uh, but the most important thing about the G513 keyboard, the thing that everyone rants and raves about, isn't just the fantastic switches. It's this bad boy right here. The patented G513 Logitech wrist rest, which I'm not kidding guys, like everyone likes to laugh about wrist rest, blah, 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 blah. Seriously, this is the most insane wrist rest. Ooh. It's literally memory foam built from higher quality than pillows that I've actually slept on. This is insane. And it's literally like an inch thick. Like look how thick that is. And it's a hundred percent memory foam. It's absolutely gorgeous. Everyone rants and raves about it. And it just sits right in front there. It's got some no skid feet. So that way you don't have to worry about it like rolling around and all sorts of stuff. And that is going to be the keyboard. Um, I don't really have anything else to show you guys, but this is pretty much going to be the whole setup here. We got the mouse pad. We got the mouse. We got the keyboard. And I will show you guys what it all looks like set up in some B-roll footage. Thank you so much for tuning into the Unbox. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, probably a couple days. I'll be making it and it'll all be made on my brand new stuff. I can't wait. So enjoy the B-roll. I'm going to try and take some nice camera shots for you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Whoop.